Hello everyone, uh, this is attorney Ayhan Agman. Today we are with you to discuss with you the latest actual news about changing USCIS policy, which was about actually on accurate unlawful presence by non-immigrant students and exchange visitors. US Citizenship and Immigration Services actually uh, last week posted a policy memorandum changing the how the agency will calculate unlawful presence for students and exchange visitors in F, J, and M non-immigrant status, including F2, J2, or M2 dependents who fail to maintain their status in the United States. This policy aligns with the President Trump's executive order, uh, which he, you know, he it was about enhancing the public safety in the interior of the United States to enforce the immigration laws of the country and will go in effect actually August 9, 2018. Individuals in F, J, and M status who fail to maintain their status before August 9, 2018 will start occurring unlawful presence on that date based on that failure unless they had already started occurring unlawful presence on the earliest of any of the following. The first one will be the day after DHS denied the request for an immigration benefit if the DHS made a formal finding that the individual violated his or her non-immigrant status while adjudicating a request for another immigration benefit. Secondly, the day after the I-94 expire or the day after an immigration judge or in certain cases the Board of Immigration Appeals ordered them excluded, deported or removed whether or not the decision is appealed. But with the, this new actually change in the policy, individuals in F, J or M status who fail to maintain their status on or after August 9, 2018 will start occurring unlawful presence on the earliest of the end of the following. The first one will be the day after they no longer pursue the course of study or the authorized activity, or the day after they engage in an unauthorized activity. The day after completing the course of study or program, including any authorized practical training plus any authorized grace period. And the day after I-94 expires, or the day after an immigration judge, or in certain cases the BIA, orders them excluded, deported, or removed, whether or not the decision is appealed. Individuals who have uh, occurred more than uh, 180 days of uh, unlawful presence during a single stay and then depart may be subject to three year or 10 year bars to admission. Depending on how much unlawful presence they occur before they departed the United States. Individuals who have occurred a total period of more than one year of unlawful presence, whether in a single stay or during multiple stays in the United States, and who then re-enter or attempt to re-enter the United States without being admitted or paroled are permanently inadmissible. Those subject to three year bar, 10 year bar or permanent unlawful presence bars to admission are generally are not eligible to apply for a visa admission or adjustment of status to permanent residence unless they are eligible for a waiver of inadmissibility or another form of relief. What I could say about this USCIS policy change, it's the big difference will happen is this. Before August of this year, any unlawful stay by these individuals under these three type of visas, usually they are not subject to bar so quickly because they were admitted to the United States under DS, duration of status. So that means as long as they continue their programs, they can stay here and they are not considered out of status. So with this change now, starting August of this year, people or individuals under the three status, if they stop going to their school, if they finish their program, if they finish their OPT, or you know somehow they violated the terms of the, the status they have, they will start actually occurring the unlawful presence days counting from that day. So that's a big difference and this is why uh, starting from August, individuals under this F, J and M needs to be very careful about you know when they complete their programs or if they actually violated their program or their status to make sure that they depart the United States 
before the 180 days starts. So should you have any questions, feel free to reach us out. We just wanted to update it or followers about this new policy change with the USCIS. And thank you for your time. Have a good day. <music>